not calling out, but calling to uh, those who are stuck, those who have a, an addiction that just can't get past. I met with somebody today and they were able to tell me a date, a very specific date, six plus years ago. And I said, man, you know the date. They said, anybody who's an addict, they know the date. That something began to change and happen. The date of sobriety, the date where you let go, the date when you broke free. No matter what you're going through today, I want to share a verse with you. It's found in Philippians 2.13. Write it down, memorize it. Man, hold on to this verse. It says this, for it is God. Who is it? It's him. It's not you. You'll never be strong enough. You'll never have enough power. It's going to have to be him. For it is God who works in you both to will and then to do for his good pleasure. Maybe today's the date. Maybe today is the date where you start this new thing with Christ, where he does this work that you could never do on your own. I remember cousin Kathy. Uh, she was an alcoholic. She couldn't get past it. She went to AA and they said, you need a sponsor. And she knew exactly who she was going to ask. She said, Jesus. I mean, that seems a little uh, too spiritual, too religious, a little hokey, whatever. She said, no, it's going to be him. And guess what? He did it. That was her testimony that he worked in her both to will and to do, to bring about a change. Maybe today's the day for you. The day where you began to put your faith in the power of Christ to do for you that which you could never, ever, ever do on your own. Today, write it down. Put your faith in that verse. Write down the date and then write down that verse in your handwriting and sign it. And say, I can't do it, but God will work in me on this day going forward.